Hello, uh, we will cover replacing the included uh, Hero HD model uh, with something off the asset store. Um, so what I'm going to use is I'm going to use this animated soldier. Um, you're going to want to download this and import it. Import everything except for the scripts. Uh, once you've done that, you're going to open up, uh, I'm just using uh, Demo Scene 3. I have disabled the demo object and I deleted the um, uh, hero that was in there. So I'm going to grab the uh, Hero HD uh, prefab and I am going to drag it in the scene. I'm going to just uh, move it to uh, position uh, 114, 104.1, negative 87. And I'm going to change the rotation uh, to 0. 142 and 0 and that way it's uh, right here. Uh, next thing you're going to do under your cartoon soldier you'll have a new folder. Um, so cartoon soldier 3D soldier on this soldier right here you're going to change the rig to humanoid and hit apply it'll configure it for you and on the scale factor I changed it to 0 0.0119 and I hit apply you are going to want to drag this soldier onto your uh, Hero HD weapons. You'll see he's here. And then what we're going to do is we are going to um, change the materials. So under this materials folder, there's a soldier um, materials. And I'm going to drag the arms onto the arms, uh, the body under that component, and then the head under the head. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that it's a child of the Hero HD weapons. Uh, make sure that the transform is set to zero, so you can just hit uh, reset. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is um, create the ragdoll. So game object, 3D object, ragdoll. I'm going to pause real quick and assign all of these uh, bones. So basically you just drag them on. So I've gone through and I've assigned um, all of the uh, bones uh, to the ragdoll. So I'm going to go ahead and hit create. Next thing I'm going to do is under the UFPS uh, base content art body animators there's this uh, UFPS example animator. I'm going to drag that into the animator controller slot. You're going to want to disable this apply root motion. Then we're going to add the scripts, uh, the VP FP body animator. I'm going to assign the head bone. And then I'm going to assign the lowest spine bone. And then right here under materials, I'm going to drag this invisible shadow caster. Now I'm going to add the uh, VP ragdoll script. I'm going to assign the head bone. Uh, from the included um, Hero HD weapons, I'm going to expand this down um, to find the uh, right arm. I'm going to grab these weapons. So it's going to be um, right down here under the right hand. There's this uh, weapons component. I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to scroll down into the new soldiers um, hand. So this R hand, you're going to want to paste this and we want to make sure that it's a child. See, so right now it's not a child. So make sure it's a child. And then I'm going to um, take the transform right here. And I'm going to go ahead and reset it. So you see all the weapons move here. 
and I'm just going to throw it at uh, negative 0 0.09, 0 0.07, 0 0.03, and then the rotation. I'm going to set that to 345, 81, and 150. Uh, so this for this uh, one pistol, I'm going to turn off this uh, VP third person weapon aim, aim script. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is on each of these, you're going to want to expand out uh, this rendering and you're going to want to assign all of these. So basically you just click and drag it here. So I'll go ahead and assign those. Okay, now that I have everything assigned, I'm going to remove uh, the body that was included. So I'm just going to delete it. And I'm going to rename this to, I'm just going to call him Animated Soldier. And I'm going to go down to my uh, prefabs. I'm just going to put them in the um, uh, prefabs for the players. So you're just going to drag them in here. And then when I hit play, my character is there. It's got uh, weapons in hand. Uh, now normally you would find this uh, uh, head bone and you would change it the scale to zero. Um, but I didn't do that for this, it's just a quick for prototyping.